Where did my feeder birds go? We've been hearing this question daily now for about three weeks, and so I thought, rather than just post a written answer, let's find a way to study a visual representation of feeder and breeding bird trends that will drop some serious science into the answer. So first, let's set the geographic stage. My audience of bird feeding enthusiasts comprises mostly locations in north central Florida, but every feeder in every yard has seasonality, and in most cases, activity will go from being robust to relatively slow and back. And in rare cases, relatively slow can be almost completely vacant, although even people who describe their feeders as being dead actually have some activity. Uh, perhaps some of us are witnessing no activity at all. In most of those cases, you will manage to find evidence that some is occurring despite not being observed. Unless you can put your finger on something specific that has changed in your surroundings, such as habitat clearing on a previously forested lot, you're simply in what amounts to a periodic downturn in feeder activity that is attributable to normal bird behavior. So why is it that activity is so much slower now than it was just a few weeks to a month ago? To answer that, let's first consider that we become conditioned to anticipate a certain level of activity, and this past winter and spring were good feeding seasons. Species mix was rich in most yards, flock size was robust, and activity at feeders was consistent. The composite chart on the screen shows peaks of activity in eight key species that are mostly associated with feeders and yards from fall on into spring. I've made all the chart lines the same color and increased the transparency so that, it is, so that it's easier on the eyes and so that you can concentrate on the line in bolder yellow, which represents the average frequency of all species in my sample group. I also studied the timing of when key species of local breeding birds have hatchlings in the nest. At those times, when multiple species of local breeding birds have growing chicks to feed in or around the yard, parents will visit feeders all day long every day. For instance, Carolina wrens will use as many live mealworms as I dispense in a nearby feeder every day of the two plus weeks the chicks are growing on the nest, and then for days to weeks afterward as the chicks use the habitat around the feeders. Eventually, the chicks will have to disperse from that space since it will be super saturated with mature wrens, and that's when, we begin, that's when we begin to see a decline in activity. Since there is no legend on the map to tell you which species I looked at for having hatchlings on the nest, and they're not the same species as is in the frequency chart, I'll list them now. With the exception of one, there is no overlap at all. They are red-bellied woodpecker, northern cardinal, tufted titmouse, Carolina chickadee, Carolina wren, downy woodpecker, morning dove, and summer tanager. The composite graph clearly shows that the peak of frequency among overwintering species rolls right into the peak of frequency among migratory species, and that the peak of the aggregate effect of breeding species around the yard becomes a protracted period of relatively high feeder activity. Now, overwintering species are gone by three or four months, migratory species by two or three months, and we are past the peak of breeding, and brood dispersal has occurred in most species. That should be a pretty clear answer to the question, where did my feeder birds go? But there's yet one more factor to consider. It's hot and cloud cover has been less than helpful for the past few weeks in this part of the world. Birds avoid exertion in these circumstances and so will be less active until the weather becomes less hazardous. I'm gonna end it by pulling up this other graphic where each species is indicated with a unique color. So those of you interested in actually picking this graph apart and seeing which line of the chart pertains to which species, this color key will allow you to do that.